So, uh, Amit, thank you for taking uh, some time to join us today. We, we really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, please uh, go ahead, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your background and you know, what's kind of led you uh, to the United States and to you know, explore uh, and go forward with an EV5 investment. Sure. Hi, I'm Amit. Uh, I came from India. Um, we came to U.S. around 2013 um, with our two kids. My wife' name is Deepthi. Um, so I was a software engineer. So we came um, in U.S. Uh, on H-1B visa uh, to work for Amazon. Um, and then because of H-1B, um, uh, at a certain point, we decided that we want to um, stay here and uh, apply for permanent residency. So we um, went through the EB2 process, which is employment-based um, uh, category. Um, but um, as we know, EB2 has a long queue, um, especially for the India. So we might it might take us next 10 to 15 years to get the uh, PR through EB2 route. Um, that's where um, we started thinking, what are the other alternative solution? Um, so we explored the option of EB1 process, uh, where we can go another country uh, with the same company and try to use L1 visa and international um, manager category. I think it is called EB1A or something. Um, so we can basically get a quicker um, PR route once we come back. But with family, it wasn't a feasible solution. Uh, so we didn't choose that route. And then we started exploring EB5 projects, uh, EB5 route. Got it, got it. So I guess before, before we dive into the project side, um, tell us a little bit about um, the immigration attorney and kind of what that process looked like for you in terms of, you know, interviewing a few attorneys, finding the one that was going to be the best fit. How did how did that whole process kind of kind of play out? Yeah, I think um, we were um, that's that was the main concern because uh, whenever we were trying to think about EB five, uh, we were looking for um, like we started researching on Google that, hey, what are the top five um, EB-5 attorneys and try to get appointmented. It was very hard to get someone quickly. It is always like a wait and then you have to schedule an appointment and all. So we started, we asked a couple of our friends and that from there, basically from our network, we found um, Anayata's name um, through our uh, one of the trusted resource and um, Anayata has helped um, friend of my uh, uh, network person that um, uh, and got a good recommendation. So we talked to Anatha, and I think in first and it was very fast. Like um, um, Anatha was ready to uh, come on call quickly. Um, so when we started talking, in next five minutes we were knowing that okay, um, we are gonna hire Anatha. She was super risk super responsive to the point, providing all the uh, clear information and um, upfront about a lot of things, uh, telling us pros and cons of every each and everything. Um, that gave us a good confidence um, uh, that um, we can invest, you know, like EB-5 is like a, uh, a big enough investment. Uh, so we were, I'm not sure, but uh, after talking to Anatha, uh, we were ready to put our uh, money into EB-5 process. Got it. And tell us, tell us a little bit. You know, what, once you decided to work with Anita, what was that source of funds documentation process like? How how long did it take? You know, from start to finish, and you know, did you have to get documents from overseas? And you know, walk us through kind of. How much of an effort was that process? How long did it take? All, all of that. Yeah, I think after talking to Anatha, um, she gave us good idea um, how the source of funds and how the process will look like. Um, we didn't go um, 
for any overseas funds and all um, i collected funds whatever uh, we had here um, so the overall process took around two weeks and anatha was super awesome like i think her average uh, response time was like 15 minutes which was pretty awesome and i was like uh, is she working with her team uh, because i'm getting response all the time um but then i thought told me now she works alone and uh, that was uh, very impressive but overall we completed the file in uh, i think uh, less than two weeks got it got it yeah that is that that is a fast turnaround time for for sure um okay got it um so i guess let's but before we switch to the projects, you know, having just gone through the process, working closely with Anita, you know, what are some of the main pieces of advice you would share with another investor who was considering hiring, you know, an EV5 attorney to help them, you know, through through the process? What are kind of the three or four, you know, really important things in your mind that another investor should look for before they before they pick that attorney to to work with them? I think one of the main um, um, criteria for me was ease of communication and um, telling like uh, both sides of like a pros and cons of each of the um, thing we should know. And um, Anatta was very clear on it. Second thing is like you should always choose an attorney who is just dealing with EB5, all right? Because EB5 is a very uh, uh, document oriented uh, and, uh, process. It's a very lengthy process uh, in terms of documentation, the verification of source of funds. And if I am, if I'm uh, remembering that correctly, it was like 2000 pages, which attorney has to prepare for the file or more than that, right? Um, so it's important like you have like a good um, uh, relationship with your uh, attorney to basically go back and forth with each of source document and all that stuff. Um, so ease of communication was one of the main criteria uh, working with Anaita and the responsiveness of her. Got it, got it. Okay, that, that's really helpful. All right, so, so let's, let's switch, switch gears a little bit and, and talk now about the EB-5 project itself. So I'm I'm sure you did you know you and your wife together did some research on various EV5 projects that you were considering for investment. What you know what were some of the things that you were you know really looking for in in a project, and you know how how did that kind of diligence research project look for you? What what did you do, and how many people did you talk to, and you know how how long how much time was was that whole kind of initial research? process yeah i think uh, well when we are looking for projects where you're going to put such a large amount of money uh, you want to protect your investment so we got a reference of a um, couple of projects uh, twin lake was one of them and we like twin lake project uh, for two primary reasons one reason was it qualifies for the rural um uh, initiative so uh, rural means like you have to put less money uh, compared to the urban projects and second one is faster processing um so uh, that was main reason um for looking the twin lake project the other primary factor when you're looking for a project is basically the builder right um so the kotler um is basically the builder for twin lake project and um, the builder um, the records, they are working from very long time and their records are impeccable. Um, so that that gave us a confidence to put our money on Twin Lakes project. Got it. Got it. So the the fact that the project was rural was was a major factor in your decision? Yes, and the builder, um, Kotler, who, who has a very good record. Um, in returning um, uh, money to investors, and they have like they have seen the 2008 uh, recession and all that stuff, and they stood well um, in all the ups and downs. Uh, that gave us confidence that uh, our money is secured there. Got it. 
um, how how did the project's job creation, you know, so far, how did that kind of factor into your into your decision in terms of yes, I think yes. So I think the two other factors were um, sorry, yeah, yeah, um, that's a good. Um, there were two more things. One was like project like EB five uh, jobs were already created for this project, and uh, project was more than half complete. Um, so that gave us good confidence that um, see uh, when we are doing a EB five investment, we want to pro protect our investment as well as we want to get the green card right. So um, having all the jobs already created and project is more than uh, com fifty percent complete gives us a good confidence that um, we will get our both the things uh, uh, checked. Got it. Got it. Got it. Did you did you get a chance to visit the project yet or or not? No, we haven't gone the project, but we um, uh, relied on a couple of um, uh, testimonials from previous. Um, the, uh, the uh, previous customers, um, they have visited the project and project was in good shape. And my wife is in real estate. So when she looked all the numbers um, and all the details around the project, uh, she had good confidence in that project. Got it, got it, that, that makes sense. Um, okay, I guess switching switching to the regional center, um, what what was it like working with um, EB5AN to help you know get through the investment process and make sure that you know you had a chance to look over all the documents and ask you know any questions that that you had before you know joining the project? Yeah, yeah I, I think EB5AN is a very professional team. Um, we had a lot of doubts um, um, for project related, process related, and they were very upfront about um, giving all the information. They were very responsive. Um, so overall, I uh, loved working with the EB5AN team um, to understand um, uh, our doubts um, and making a decision of investing into EB5 project. Got it, got it, okay. Um, I guess looking looking back, you know, having just gone through the process of hiring the attorney and now, you know, looking at the projects, um, you know, what what kind of advice would you have for someone looking for for projects, right? So if someone you know had already decided they want to do EV five, and now you know they're looking at five or six different projects, what are what are kind of three or four things that you would tell that person to? You know to really focus in on when you know deciding what project to go with yeah i think i would suggest to evaluate the project um they are interested in right um uh, one main thing is the the builder of the project which was key thing for me um, um we have to make sure that builder has that experience in completing a pro big projects and also fulfilling commitments to all the investors. Um, so that becomes a, a key aspect of uh, choosing a project. Got it, got it. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and then I guess last thing, um, in, in terms of the immigration attorney, um, you know, would you recommend a NIDA to other Indian clients looking for an attorney and 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 why? What were what was kind of the main the main thing that you know gave you a, a really good experience with her? Yes, I think um, Anahita was really really um, good in his in her job. Um, she she has a tremendous uh, she has a lot of lot of experience in um, dealing with uh, uh, Indian clients. Um, and different kinds of source of funds. And when we like, because when you are um, putting your overseas funds, then you, they need to basically tie up all the funds. Um, uh, uh, they need to trace all the funds into a, um, a way. So I think she has a great experience there. Um, so I would definitely recommend um, Anaita as an immigration attorney and EB5AN as um, your um, EB5 regional center.
Great. Thank, thank you very much, Amit, for, for taking some time to, to share your experience. We, we really appreciate it. We want to make sure that all of our future investors get the benefit of hearing you know, from prior investors as you know, to why they selected a particular attorney and why uh, they, they picked one of our projects. That, that's really helpful. As you mentioned, you know, it was helpful for you as well. Um, so that, that's something that we really, um, really value and, and want to continue into the future. Yeah.